Hey, what's up, everybody? I am some guy named. Wait for it. Nate. Eight. Hey, everybody. I'm some guy named Nate. We are doing not this cup. Not this cup. You wish we did this cup, but we did it earlier. That one. We're doing the all cup tour of 100cc today. Holy balls, Batman. I don't know why I signed myself up for this because I'm a huge moron. But you guys, I bet you knew that already. You're like, this is why I watch Nate's show. He's a huge moron. But yeah, I have story time today. So, long story short. <laughs> long story short. Uh, today was really weird because, like, we have. Uh, I, I don't talk about my work that often. But we have uh, something called a float teller, which is a bank teller that. Uh, floats from branch to branch. They're not like they don't actually float. Like they don't. They're not a balloon. They're not a ghost. Instead, <laughs> nice dude. We are. Oh crap! The chain chops loose. Um. Oh wait, no, he's he's right there. That was a baby Mario ability. Dude, donkey is. Why is there a shell there? I swear the Bowser shell is like a creepy pasta half the time. Also, I was talking to my brother, and like. They're, the early Mario Karts are so mean. They pretty much... What was that? They pretty much feel like a creepypasta if you lose. Dude! Okay, this is aggressively silly. That was a Waluigi. <laughs> He's mad that I took his little bro. <laughs> or his nephew? My brother told me he was like looking up Donkey Kong lore and apparently Diddy is Donkey's nephew. That should work. But yeah, so we had a float teller today, and we were just hanging out and talking. Oh my god! Banana. Yes! And I guess what? Another banana! Dude, that's freaking creepy, though, if you think about it. A giant sentient banana. And shell. Dude, my shell even did something! That was metal! Also, is, does Mario wear a long sleeve shirt all the time? I could have sworn that his arms were exposed later on. But it looks like he's totally wearing a long sleeve shirt here. Maybe he exposes those guns later. I got no clue, man. But what I do have a clue on is how I ruined that story. But yeah, so the, the float teller we had today, she has a surplus of pets. Like, her and her husband have, like, a bunch of snakes and cats and everything. Everything under this beautiful sun. You take the moon and you take the sun. You take everything that seems like shit. <laughs> you stir it all up and then you're done. Rudder, 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 rudder. Come on and feel free to do some looking. Stay a while cause something's always cooking. Okay, we are gonna throw the spice, the ice spice, if you will. Also, I'm a grown-ass white guy, and I really want to buy Ice Spice's new album on vinyl. Shit. No! Worst part about that is I lost my banana. That's okay, we're gonna make a comeback here. There you go, the Bow Wow team got decimated. Now, the Monkey Waluigi team, because we stole each other's best friends. Oh crap, well there's my old banana. Let's thread the needle, nice. This is long as we get, you know, a pretty dang decent uh, lead here. Now we're gonna be evil. Oh, I missed. Now we're gonna be evil. Okay, we can be less e Oh shit. Dude, that ba bomb. That ba bomb was sassing me. A sass in crate. And that was fake. God dang it. All I'm getting is upside down bullshit. Fuck you, Donald. What the hell happened to those morons? I'm gonna teach you guys a history lesson on YouTube. Oh crap. But there was 
a crappy, uh, they, their script writing was good, and that's all I'll give them. It was like a group that ran voices through an AI program, and had, yes, I ran into that, and had Donald Trump, uh, Obama, and Biden all become best buddy gamers. And it's a really funny series, but they stopped doing it, probably because, I don't know, they're stealing or something. <laughs> Oh, that would have been goaded. Damn it. Second is okay. See, Donkey Kong tried his best. But it wasn't enough. Now I'm tied with the princesses. But we should be on point again. I do love the... I should actually use a GameCube controller for my next GameCube LP. I love the modernized Retro Fighters. GC... But, like, there's just that... The GameCube controller is iconic. It's like how I'm probably going to use the... Um, retro Fighters I have for the N64, because, yes, I bought one for the N64 as well. But, because I was uh, the freaking salesman at Portland Retro, man. I didn't buy one at the con, I bought one later. Oh, shit. Oh, man, he wasted his big nanny. Nanny. Oh, nice! That was sheer dumb luck. I don't know the look behind me button. Yeah, I got a big banana if I ever need it. You know, screw it, I need the big banana. Boom. Also, my lights are flickering. I'm not liking that. That's shit. Not now, universe. I do love the the leaning that the second character does, though, when you're doing drifts and stuff. That shit's just fun. Hey, Wario, we're gonna slap your butt, and we're gonna switch back to Donkey Kong so we can keep getting bananas. Uh, fake item. Fake item in this economy. <laughs> also, the, the punchline in this economy is always funny. I don't know why. Well, there's a lot of lines that are just stupid that are always funny. Look, another Wumbo Nanner! Mash banana, mash banana. Mash banana, mash banana. You remember the mosh pit that happened at the, apple, that happened at the Wiggles concert? That was a famous video. I think, I think it was either fruit salad or mash banana, I can't remember. But there, like a mosh happened, which is the most metal thing you could think of. Which is funny, because the really crappy-ish show Koala Man made fun of the Wiggles. And then explained that the Wiggles, or whatever they are in that universe, like, extract life force from people. Oh no, they eat, they eat people, that was what it was. Because that took the... Man, I see, I like that show, it was okay. But it also had the exact what all adult animated cartoons do shtick, which is... You take a joke and you ran, like you run it into the ground. Also, 52 seconds even for my second lap. Not bad, dude. And look, now we're winning. This is how it should be. So Wario is totally denting his own car standing on it. Peach Beach is a really good map. It's giving me war flashbacks. And I know people are still commenting and saying, Nate, this is how you do the speed boost, but I recorded all of this in three sessions before I even uploaded part one. So you can't say anything. You can't say nothing. That's how you do it. Oh, this is going to be <laughs> a terrorist level. Yeah, I think leaving Donkey Kong on the back seat is the best option. Because he's gonna throw bananas like they're going out of style. Well, now he isn't. He's got a Koopa shell. Which is cool too, I guess, but not as cool. Okay, I guess we do kind of flood it. Oh, crap. We're still winning, though. That's what, that's what matters, kids. Banani. Dude, that's all you get if you're in not... Oh crap, I missed. 
Oh! Ooh, as you can tell, I monkey taunted right after that because I was so proud of myself. I was so proud of myself for getting a banana at the last second. Let's see if I can do the shortcut. Yes, the tide's low enough, I can. Yes! Damn it! No! My hubris! I got double cataquacked, and we're still doing halfway decent. Good. Woo! And that's why I need to stop being so quacky. Also really like the warp pipe coming out of the side of Peach Beach there. It's very like a, you know, a bonus level in Mario Sunshine kind of a feel. I really like that track. I need to get a real copy of Mario Sunshine eventually. I have it technically on the uh, the Mario 3D All-Stars collection on the Switch. I was able to get that before it became stupid expensive. Because everybody made a meme out of it. Nintendo was like, we're pulling it from the eShop and we're pulling it from store shelves on so-and-so day. And then like so many stores had like 58 copies of that game. Like an ample surplus of that game was available in stores. And now you can't get a hold of it for under like 75 bucks. Oh, you're gonna hate this blue shell. Oh crap! I should have thrown that shell. And behind me. You know, I'm really getting decent. No! <laughs> he says while he gets annihilated. <laughs> Alright, I'm Daisy. Dude, Donkey Kong just punched a princess. That is insane. Captain Insano. And then, Dr. Insano. You see how many friggin' nanners we're getting? And I know the tornadoes do the same thing that the friggin' cataquacks do. And we're SOL! Oh. Leaning forward, you can tell us the signature iconic Nate was leaning forward. And also, I can't... Oh! Ooh. That was intense. Okay, so far so good. Also, also, someone was evil and I think that someone was me. Okay, we're gonna put an explosive right next to that. Nice! Come on, Wario. You've trained your whole life for this. Years of eating garlic and farting have... Come down to this tournament. I can't stop thinking about the Living with Wario episodes 1 and 2. Because they're so stupid. But I quote them constantly. And the YouTube poops that spawn out of them. Which there's a lot of them. <laughs> Ultimate virtual cheating. And look guys, look. Banana. Banana, 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 banana. <laughs> I can't believe I haven't referenced Futurama. Think about the ramifications of banana, banana, banana. Dude, we are winning by a landslide. Behind me. There we go. Wario wins. Also, we're 13 minutes into this episode. And... I think that was race 5 of 8. So yeah, we should... These should be... These might be a little bit beefier, guys, the last few episodes. I'm just going to warn you. You're probably 14 minutes into this right now. You're like, oh man, why is this video so long? Because what I'm thinking is I wrap up 100cc All Cup Tour. Then I wrap up 150cc All Cup Tour. Uh, then I belch, and then I... Then I do Mirror Mode... And Mirror Mode's probably going to be three episodes, honestly. And then we'll see what happens. And again, this game, it was worth the 70 I spent on it. I'm having a lot of fond memories flooding through my core. Running into Goombas. And I think this... Oh man, that was close. I think this track is one of the ones that I'm bad at, so... 
Gonna take a little bit of finessery. Okay, we're gonna try to space invaders on. Oh man, Daisy just got freaking annihilated by the chain chomp. Hey, run into that. Well, apparently he did. A good thing I coaxed him into doing that. And I hit that Goomba again. What in the bloody poop? No! No, donkey! God! Okay. Looks like uh, the princess's rubber band is back into first, though. So they're our main opponents. Know what I'm doing here. There we go. There we go. That's what we call cheating. Okay, looks like Daisy uh, did not run into my fake item box, but instead of the banana that was uh, laid, and I'm not hitting this Goomba. Oh! I just got to Repeat performance that last lap about three times on 150cc and we'll be okay. Now look at that, 39 seconds. Zero F-ups. Man, Wario's car is just styling, man. So freaking styling. I heard you like all cups. All cups are good. I'm not prejudiced. I enjoy all cups. Shakers, tumblers, growlers, pint glasses. Also, ugh, without sounding like a broken record, uh, I freaking hate this track. So at least uh, this uh, run through picked my two least favorite levels in rapid succession. So that's pretty good. I just gotta save this mushroom. I've not taken the big shortcut on this track before. Let's see if I can do it. Ready, guys? Nice! We made it! You're not supposed to be able to hit that. Oh! Okay, Diddy, you brought that upon yourself. I missed all those. At least I, at least I was able to uh, show off that delicious, delicious shortcut, which doesn't really matter because I'm already in second place again. You see what I'm talking about with like the random... Actually, no, I'm stupid. I'm gonna save that mushroom. We're gonna do that again. Shit. Just spank my butt at them until they leave. It's insane though, like... The computers will sometimes still like F you over if you take that shortcut. Cause we just took it twice. But it doesn't matter. There we go. That's all I ever wanted was one banana to eat. And you kind of have to hold your controller like a claw when you're playing on higher difficulties. And I'm not going to get a mushroom on in when I'm in first place. Shit. You know, that deserves, <laughs> that deserves a butt slap. He's like, you think you can F with me? Take the kiss this! But now I'm gonna have to take the long route, which is a lot tougher. So wish me luck, everybody at home who's watching this on their phone or TV or whatever. There we go. See, you thought I was gonna hit. Oh god. Oh! <laughs> that was awesome. That was a savage. Oh, good. I was able to throw that shit at the last second. I don't know if you were, if you were hosting a tournament of like people who weren't GameCube purists, and you wanted them to play a GameCube game, you could probably put a Retro Fighters in their hand and host the tournament just fine. But there's going to be that one guy who's going to be like, actually, if uh, if I used my own um, GameCube controller, um, I would have won the tournament. But no, that's not true. You still would have lost the tournament because you're doo doo. And why do you main Captain Falcon? Mm -hmm. Oh wait, that's me. I main Captain Falcon. No, I've never told the third 
a tournament story. Guys, guys, the third tournament story. Take this bomb. Take the shell. But yeah, um, my third tournament story was oh god, was uh, I was waiting for oh god, I was waiting for Super Smash Brothers for Wii U to come out, which came out on the same day as uh, Pokemon Omega and Alpha, which is a cool fact for you guys. But I was waiting in line, and then the manager was like. Hey guys, we set up the Wii display, because back then they just had video game displays at G-Stop, which had video games you could play. It's crazy! And uh, they unplugged the demo Wii that was plugged into that display, and they plugged an N64 into it, and they said, hey, okay everybody, we're hosting a mini uh, N64 Smash Brothers tournament. And uh, you have to pick one character, and we're going to chart it. So you're not allowed to pick any other characters. And uh, I picked Captain Falcon, of course, because he's my boy in the original one. And I got to the second round, which was nothing. And I had it to a science, uh, which is... Oh, crap. Hey, I avoided the red shell, though. I'll take my lumps. Um... I had it down to a science when I could charge the Falcon Punch, because if you guys have played the original uh, Smash Brothers, it isn't like the newer ones when he's like, Falcon Punch! And he's like, Falcon Punch! Like, it's really quick. So I was able to time that, so if you jumped at the right second, like you did a half jump, and hit B, he would say, Punch! when he hit the ground. And if you did that perfectly, then... It would be like immediately when your toes hit the uh, arena floor, I guess you could say. Then his punch was let off. And I was able to do that so many freaking times perfectly. And I was pissing off a bunch of people at the tournament. Also, guys, let me know some GameCube games you want me to play. I'm planning some PS2 and some original Xbox in the future, too. Because, I don't know if you guys know, this was my favorite generation of consoles... My favorite generation of consoles is... G uh, oh, crap, 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 crap. Oh, my God! Ooh, saved that one. My favorite generation of consoles is original Xbox, GameCube, GBA, and PS2. All three of those systems are god tier. They're so good. They all have great exclusives, great games on them. They pushed boundaries and envelopes. And they delivered great games for the most part. Some stinkers. Ooh! I remember, we can lose a few matches. I'm okay with losing. Mamba didn't raise no quitter. Oh, good thing we didn't raise no quitter, because shit. Oh, crap. Also, I don't think there's any shortcuts that you can just... Drive over the dirt, I was going to say. Woo. Somebody run into that fake item. Damn it, neither of them did. Man, they are like, joined at the hip. Look at them go. Never... Fuck. F word. F word. Damn it. Alright, we're utilizing my snaking skills. There we go. You schmuck. Yeah, you silly f billy. I think that's the most PG insult I have, is calling someone a silly billy, which I've legitimately done a few times. And it takes people aback every time. And I hit myself with that. I hit myself with my own bomb. Well, I... Oh my god. How did Waluigi survive that? Okay, now they're gonna re reverse rubber band. I'm gonna banana them. They turn off reverse rubber banding, though, when you hit 150cc. As you guys know... <laughs> no! Fuck. <laughs> well, that blew her up, too. I don't care. I'm calling that a net win. 
Ooh. Okay. Dude! Oh my god! Holy crap. Why is the game so mean when you get to higher difficulties? I guess you could also be mean to the computers, but they're gonna come back with a vengeance. Okay, coming back. Speaking of coming back with a vengeance. There we go. No need for drifts, I don't care. Take them or leave them. Will Peach and Daisy and Waluigi and Diddy dodge those? Probably. Yeah, they did. That's okay. We still came out ahead, baby. I just wish I could have done that friggin' Mario Kart tournament that I talked about earlier. In the real world, if I had eight old CRT TVs, eight Game Cubes, eight copies of this game, eight memory cards, and 16 controllers, yeah, I'd set up that tournament. But think about how much money I just sent. Oh wait, shit, you'd also have to get the LAN cables for the GameCube, which I don't know where the hell that would connect. I don't own a GameCube, I own a Wii. I eventually want a GameCube, but it has to be the Indigo one. And it has to be a Gen 1 GameCube. Because I learned about the difference um, at Portland Retro one year. So, guys, uh, if you buy a GameCube, uh, GameCubes were in three colors here in America. I think they were in like five colors or something everywhere else. You can also get it in spice orange, mmm tasty. Uh, but over here it was just purple, or indigo, sorry, uh, black and platinum. And the platinum ones released two years into the GameCube, so 2003 was when the platinum ones came out. And then you would have the black and the indigo ones as well. So, when you get a GameCube, flip it around and see how many audio or video ports are on the back. If it's uh, S video and then one other thing. There's like two ports back there. Then it's an original model one. For budget reasons, Nintendo cut out the second display port on all of the GameCubes they released 2003 onward. So the first two years of the GameCube being a thing, uh, it's more sought after. In fact, there's a company that makes an HDMI converter box that goes directly into the back of the GameCube that only fits on the older model GameCubes. So if you have an old model GameCube, you can get it split to HDMI, and it'll even upscale it for you without the need for splitters or anything. But what I just said was effing expensive. I think it's like, because then you'd have to get a Gen 1 GameCube, and then you'd also have to buy that box, and that box is like, freaking, I think it's like 60 or 70 bucks for like one cord, which is brainless. And then you plug that into the back, and then you can totally split it to true HD. But honestly, if you're playing games that look like what I'm playing right now, I wouldn't really necessarily want it to have 4K, 128-bit Donkey Kong ass on my TV. I don't know about you guys, unless you guys want Donkey Kong ass on your screen. If that's the case, so be it. Here's some Donkey Kong ass right now. Yeah! Also, he's not voiced by Seth Rogen, thankfully. Also, I should totally buy another uh, Retro Fighters. I mean, they're good to have as backups. I bought an Indigo one because I had to, but... They make those in every color under the rainbow for... Well, the GameCube rainbow, which is... Indigo, Platinum, Black, and Spice, but... You can also get a Spice GameCube, but I don't know if those are legit. Because I never saw one in stores, but then... Uh, upsellers and companies... That are like, since your order got picked to be filmed, I'm throwing in my snot rags for free. <laughs> that was really funny. Waluigi got hit by the banana, but he was already falling into the cannon, so he's totally okay. Okay, we're having a downhill jam right now. I'm gonna downhill jam my thumbs in your eyes, dude. Waluigi, get out of here. Woo! Dude, the handling on the Wario Donkey combo. You know, aside from when uh, some schmuck will head gets hit by a rock and a red shell. Um, that combo is just goaded. Okay, this should do it. I'm a heavyweight. Get out of here. And 
They took all my shit. Yes, you are Daisy. No! What was that? I'm upset greatly. Also, I feel like that freaking volcano right now. You see his face? That's my mood right now. Well, that's okay. Because mushroom! Woo! And banana. I do like Peach and Daisy's uh, ability, though. That one's pretty good. If I do say so myself, and I did. Ooh. See what I mean with, like, baloney? Oh, nice! Well, Waluigi and Diddy got hit by something, and we avoided that red shell. So I'd say that's an overall 100% successful strip. Strip? 100% successful trip. I agree, Volcano. Also, I'm gonna be a jerk, ready? There we go. How are they avoiding my banana? Hey, Wario, we can recover. Again, you have a W on your cap for all the Ws you be getting. And I went right through those. Yeah, you really have to F with the camera to get around the hairpins here. But I freaking love this course. There we go. Monkey Team and Wario win! Yeah, we're 30 minutes in, and we've already done 11 of the 16 tracks. I think we're fine, 32 minutes in. Well, that just means the 150cc uh, all-cup tour we're doing next episode is going to be even shorter, because we're faster. Should be fun. And I really like the dream team we found. We're going to replace Don Donkey Kong. is going to get fired in about a few episodes. <laughs> oh, thank you, Bowser! Oh god. That's okay, shortcut. Yes! I don't know how we salvaged that. Oh, come on. Princesses. Are you gonna smooch the princess? What about Luigi's a Haunted Mansion? Or are you too scared? I'm not scared. That game was just awful. Even Luigi didn't like it. Come on, Wario. Dropping your nanny. Yes! I want to save that red shell. Nice. And I keep double tapping the Z button whenever we go off these jumps. And it keeps doing that perfectly so I still get an item. Oh, this is working, this strat. Fuck! Oh, sorry. I am so sorry. I am so sorry for spiking the audio. Everybody in my house and everybody in my neighborhood. And everybody watching this video. That was the most brainless thing. I hope I didn't jump scare everybody. Because I was trying to drop that bomb behind me. Man, I'm stupid. I am the dumbest YouTuber. Well, no, I guess there's dumber YouTubers than me. Yes. Ready for funny? <laughs> oh, great. Peach and Daisy fell off. Good. <laughs> L plus ratio plus you fell off. But they're going to rubber band. Fudge. I agree, audience. That was baloney. Also, me throwing the bomb directly against the ramp and then running into a green shell. Me, ro <sighs> me throwing a bomb not in front or not behind me. What is going on? I did not tell him to do that. I swear to Jimmy. Everyone's like, who the heck's Jimmy? Jimothy Neutron. Oh, my now my nose itches. Fuck. You know, you know it's real when you say like quiet cuss words, like instead of just like whisper cussing, like I just did. Whew. That was stressful as shit, everybody. I'm so sorry. But look, we still did it, and we bumped Peach and Daisy down a bracket that maneuver at the last second so now we have an even better of a lead
So even if we F up horribly on Rainbow Road, we're probably still going to do halfway decent. And just got to win these next three cups. Oh, my nose. I do have a suggestion from an avid viewer of the channel of five years, though, for a PS2 game I should play. So that's really close to coming up. But I don't know when I'm going to start it. Hey, Kubas. <laughs> it's like when Chris Pratt said that, and this sounded like a, a derogatory term. He's like, I loved stomping Koopas. Come on, Bowser. Oh, crap, I forgot he's also heavy. Dude. Okay, we're saving that mushroom. Oh man, they are going to hate us at the end of this. Okay. Dude, Wario is just living his- he's getting red shells! So many red shells, he's living his best life right now. Damn it, I missed. Also, how the heck did first and second get so far up here? Okay, come on, Donkey Kong, save me. Oh, they avoided it. Good job. Guess what? Time to be a jerk. Ooh. Oh, everybody avoided that. It was the classic, like, blank will remember that. Crap, and they got the item. You're going to get the double item. Thank you. I love how this is the only game with a double item. I really freaking love it. There we go. Perfect. That probably wasn't perfect in the book of some speedrunner. But, in the book of me, very perfect. Okay, we're saving that Donkey Kong. You're gonna need that soon, bro. Oh, hey, we avoided a red shell out of sheer dumb luck. I like when that happens. Okay. Well, all we gotta do is match the X button. I love where the GameCube's face buttons are, man. They replicated that really well on the, re on the Retro Fighter. Okay, no one's anywhere near us, but we're just gonna drop this. Drop this. You know, for good measure. <laughs> throw it right at the sign. That was a really good throw. It hit the sign and not us. I approve. I approve video game. Alright, three more tracks. Three more tracks. We can do it, everybody. We can do it. This is 100cc. Oh, man, Baby Park. Let's go. Let's go. I want to beat this game today just so I can do my other projects. I've wanted to play this game on the show for... A long freaking time though, so I'm glad I finally was able to. Guess what? Coming out, coming out swinging. There you go. And I don't know how Peach and Daisy kept up with us having a star. Guess what, Peach and Daisy? Guess what, Peach and Daisy? I don't know how they're gonna avoid all those, but that was cool. Oh! Okay, and someone's throwing their dang dad's shells. Woo. I also like the little hump in the middle. You can throw items over it and be it like that and be a jerk. Oh god. And right there. I just hope I'm not stupid enough to uh, go on that path in like five minutes, five seconds. I like how uh, the randomizer picked the uh, longest track in the game with only two laps and then immediately picked the shortest track in the game with seven laps right after it. And in trying to avoid the chain chomp, I got shelled. Well, that's okay. Baby, The baby Mario Brothers are not having the best day. Nice. 
Yeah, look, one of my laps was 12 and a half seconds. That's about as long as a punk rock song. Nice. All right, everybody at home, two more tracks. Of course, the two toughest ones right at the end. I think it always picks Luigi Surrogate first and Rainbow Road last. The others are random, but it's cool. Oh my god, Nate. Don't you know how kart racing works? Items are like half the battle, dude. Like how else are you going to drop a giant nanner? Okay. Oh god. Oh, shoot. A giant nanner. This is giant nanner season. And those two are having a turf war. Did you see that? Well, I think one of them hit nice, uh, one of the freezies. Uh, isn't that just an item from Smash Brothers? No. No, it's not. It's in other crap. Other Mario. Oh my god. You're Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Dude, it is giant banana season. We're saving this. Throwing that back, dropping a banana on the start line. You know, even though I complained about Sherbert Land just now, we are breezily going through Sherbert Land, even though I missed those items there. And we got uh, warning, uh, you may be photosensitive uh, immediately after it. Nice. And 2003 hit different. So everybody, what were you doing in 2003? Hopefully you were alive. If not, you were soon to be alive, because if you're younger than this game and you're watching this, that's insane. There you go, the banana can't be shelled, I forgot. But we can. But yeah, in 2003, I was in... Well, when this game came out late 2003, I was in the fifth grade, I think. So that's pretty dope. So I really didn't deserve a GameCube because in the fifth grade I was a shithead. No, that's a lie. I was in the fourth grade and also I messed up the start. Dun 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 dun. It is a road. It's called the Rainbow Road. It is a road that you know. See if we do better than sixth place. I think in 150 CC was it? We got friggin' sixth place. On Rainbow Road. That's because this shit's hard. There's no guardrails, hardly. Like, you gotta know what you're doing. So, drifting in that... That was 100% me. Drifting on this twirly Joe is a death sentence. So is dropping your dad's shell on my head. Oh my god. Also, guys, like, the again, I'm still using the retrofit. Like that, the twirly section there is the death of me. I can do halfway decent on this little section. Unless your red shell flies the frick off. That's okay. I ain't mad. I ain't mad, Nintendo, that you made the hardest rainbow road in this game. Debatably, I think this is the hardest rainbow road. I really think the one in Mario Kart 7 on the 3DS, that's such a pushover Rainbow Road. That one I can do in my sleep. Okay, we're in fourth and we're getting bananas, not good. Alright, Bowser's got a big shell. Come on, Bowser, throw it. Throw it forward, specifically. Okay, he's just saving that because he's really mad at me. Okay, I'm, I'm throwing the blue shell. I'm bringing out the big guns. What is going on? He had to throw that right when my camera angle was dog shit. Holy crap. Okay, let's get this start. Okay, I think we're going to have the curse of Rainbow Road on this Let's Play, guys. Because look, I'm starred. And freaking the Koopa Bros were going as fast as me. With a star, I might add. Okay. Cool. 
We're, we're caught up to the Bowsers. And I am not throwing this forward. It wants you to throw him forward, too. Okay, good job, Wario. Now catch up to the other two for the love of garlic. <laughs> that rotten onion. Woo! Yeah, they're kind of reverse rubber banding a little bit, but not to an extreme level yet. Oh, I think that hit first place instead, which is cool. And that was a dick move times three. Holy crap. Woo! Also, that camera angle sucks. I'm just going to point that out. Whew. Okay, I'm not going to drift. I'm actually going to flutter the gas pedal a little bit, and I'll see if I still die. And I'm still dying. Crap! What on God's marble were they thinking when they did Rainbow Road? Rainbow Road SNES? Easy. Rainbow Road N64? I can do it pretty well without the stupid shortcut, even. Rainbow Road on the GBA SP, a little, or GBA, a little bit tough. But this, sorry I had to focus there, but this, goodness gracious, Tito's got me beyond fucked up. There we go, hit all the pads. Spank my butt, spank my butt twice. There's a few more corners. Nice. Hold it. Yes! Easy peasy. Only took us 45 minutes-ish. 46? Alright. But that should do it. I'm gonna skip the credits like I have been doing with all the All Cup tours, everybody. So let's do the award ceremony. And by do the award ceremony, I mean mash the A button and start. See, look, that one only took 38 minutes. Plus all the menus and other shit, making it a 47 minute ordeal. There you go. Thank you for making, Nintendo. What did we unlock for doing All Cup Tour 100cc though? Nothing! Alright guys, on the next installment of Mario Kart Double Dash, we are going to make it a little bit shorter. And I'm going to select my Joes right now and we are going to do the All Cup Tour on 150cc. What will happen in that one? Probably more chaos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you in the next very long episode.